Hey all my air signs out there. This reading is a five card spread for the singles. Now this is going to cover your key issues, uh, things that are like that if you can change them, fix them in some way, they will help you uh, to find the right partner for you. And of course, if you have a sun in any of these air signs, as well as a Venus rising and moon, then of course, this is for you guys. And like I said, this is going to be a five card spread. I have the cards already pulled out here for you. And this is going to come from the Light Sears Tarot deck. If you guys are interested in learning more about it, I have all the information down below in the description box. And how the cards go is the first card is going to talk about your behavioral pattern. So uh, with the first card, the first thing that I picked up when I seen this was the presence of the lion in the back of this man who looks very strong, very determined, and he's holding this wand. And in this wand here, in the King of Wands, you can see he has a crown there and that crown is on fire. This is someone that is very, very powerful. Okay? So, with the King of Wands, of course, this talks about your key issues. And let's go ahead and get into those. Um, what I'm picking up from a lot of you is that you tend to have an issue with being shy and timid. Now, it's not a bad thing being a very shy and timid person. It just depends on the situation. But when it comes to a relationship or when it comes to wanting a relationship and wanting to really put yourself out there, you may have noticed that time and time this has been a hindrance for you. And what you're going to need to do at this time, if you want to change things and say go into 2021, uh, you know, assertive and being able to uh, attract the right people to you, because um, sometimes... What can happen with air, air signs? I'm an Aquarius, okay? So I uh, definitely <laughs> can speak on this. And sometimes we have to be careful with being shy, with being timid, with liking, especially for us women, liking for the man to take the lead or the person to approach us. We tend to sometimes end up with people that are more so choosing us as opposed to us choosing them. Okay, and sometimes that can definitely be a problem. But uh, if you work on being uh, more confident, and, and let me let me just start with the negatives first, okay? Because I'm going to point out the negatives, and I'm going to point out how you can turn those into positives, okay? Let's be honest. Some of you out there are very selfish, impulsive. You make a lot of broken promises to people, and if there are some... Uh, <laughs> If there are some people uh, that are watching this that are not of these particular signs, they just wanted to kind of look in on and maybe kind of see the potential, maybe learn something about air signs, or maybe they are dating somebody that's an air sign and they want to get a better understanding. I'm pretty sure at this moment, those cross, <laughs> I said cross watch, those cross watchers are not in their heads. Yes. Okay. Um, some of us tend to have a habit of being forceful. Like I said before, uh, broken, making a lot of broken promises and kind of digging into, as I would say, like extremism. So, uh, wow. So it is very important uh, with this card is to understand that uh, this is a card of creativity. Okay. Uh, a person that possesses the king of wands. Uh, type of ability is someone that is very creative someone um, that may have taken their hobby or taken on something and they've really done it and to the point where they sort of found themselves um, loving this so much to where they're standing out and they're pulling people towards them so if you haven't already I would suggest uh, this card definitely suggests that if you haven't already or you've been thinking about it but you haven't done it it is good for you to go ahead and pick up a hobby and not just because it's something for you to do, but when you pick up a hobby, what it does is it takes a lot of attention away from what you're focusing on the most, which is a relationship. Because, of course, that is why you're here trying to figure out how you can pull one in. But it's kind of like if you do the opposite, you will attract what you're looking for. Okay, that's just like a person who is just like a man who likes a chase. 
And when they say chase, they don't necessarily want you to be fake and say, oh, I don't want to be with you. I don't want to be with you. No, the thing is, is what that man is really turned on by is the fact that the woman likes him, but she doesn't need him because her life is filled with so many other things. And so if you found yourself kind of always looking for relationships or looking at other people that are taken and wondering could you have this and why you don't have that and it's leaving you up at night you're always worried about it that is going to be the one thing that is going to keep you from solidifying a relationship with someone is because you're not taking that time in which you are single to actually enjoy being single there is nothing wrong with being single. For some of you out there, I know you are rolling your eyes in the back of your head, but you need to understand there is nothing wrong with being single. Take some time out for yourself. Take the attention away from always thinking about relationships and put that into a hobby. Whether that be uh, learning how to play basketball or, or writing poetry or making a journal or making a YouTube channel, just anything. Something that can help you take away from that and something that you really enjoy and you're really driven by. Trust me, by the time you look up, there's going to be someone there and you're going to go, oh wow, I wasn't even looking for nobody. And look what happened. I found someone when I wasn't looking. Now let's get back into the negative aspects that I talked about, um, which is like being selfish, being impulsive. Now, when one of the ways, one of the examples of being impulsive um, and what I'm getting from some people is that they jump in quickly in relationships without really looking at the person that they're running towards. Maybe they've gotten into a relationship with someone or they got into a situationship and it all happened because <laughs> one thing that an air sign loves a good conversation. Okay. And you have to understand that some people are just talkers. Okay. They can talk to you and they can talk you out of your underwear. And you have to be careful that you're not giving so much of yourself and that includes your body so quickly before you can really say, is this person really my partner? Is this person really someone that I can truly say that I want to date and I want to be with? You know, by the time you jumped into this relationship, you've had a baby or you jumped into this relationship and you're already feeling like an old married couple. That is a sign that you are moving faster than your heart is allowing. OK, so it's best to just take your time now. Another thing, and this is um, one of the habits, this is one of the things that I hear a lot of people complain about when it comes to air signs, is that we have a tendency of being selfish. And the thing is, is that we don't necessarily sometimes try to be selfish. It just happens because a lot of us, our minds are going a mile a minute. Okay, we have so many things in our mind and we're doing this and we're doing that. And then we realize that our partner is putting in a heck of a lot more work than we are. They're the one that's doing all the calling. They're the one that's planning the dates. They're the ones, they're the ones that are doing X, Y, Z. And all we're doing is saying, hey, it's me, the air sign, I'm here. And then at the end, you're wondering why your partner is tired of you, why the relationship is ended, why this person sudden, suddenly ghosted you, or why this person says, you know what? I think it's better that you and I be friends. You seem as if you're more so someone that's just looking for a friend. And then they don't understand that for us, a friend and a relationship goes hand in hand. But because we spend so much time in our heads, we spend so much time uh, with our friends and with our other uh, different things that were going on. We didn't take the time to nurture the relationship. So guys, yes, definitely take a look at the negatives that are in the key issues of your situation, think about the King of Wands. Even do some, some research, read up on the King of Wands and see what are some different things that you can change and what you can feel to get you more so to becoming more of a strong, assertive person who is not afraid of being creative, who is not afraid of self-expression in order to get what they desire. So let's move on to the next one. Whew, okay. <laughs> that was a lot, right? 
So this next one here is the Page of Cups. Now, anytime that you see the page in a reading, it could signify youth. Uh, um, for another word that people think of is like virgin or just uh, new possibility new possibilities new beginnings uh, people think of childhood XYZ so uh, in this next section of learning how to work on yourself this card is all about changing patterns so for a lot of you let's be honest the negatives that came with your patterns are mind games being defensive and being manipulative and you're probably saying what do you mean no 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 I don't play games I don't play games I'm an Aquarius I'm a Gemini I'm a Libra I'm straight up no 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 sometimes we can think we're straight up but secretly subconsciously just like with a Scorpio you already know then that's why a lot of us click so well with Scorpios let's be honest a lot of us know when we're playing mind games you pretend like you don't like a person because you hope that the person likes you. You'll say, well, I'm not going to call that person. I'm going to wait and let that person call me. Oh, those are mind games. Those are mind games. And then you get defensive when the person calls you out. Particularly, especially if you're dating someone with Scorpio-like ways. They're going to call you on it every single time. And then there's the manipulation. The funny part about this is I, <laughs> in a way, I always knew ever since I was a kid that I was being manipulative when it came to my mom. I knew that if I said something a certain way, I did it with a sweet voice, then I'd be able to get what I want from my mom. I know this is so awful, right? But let's give, <laughs> give an example. Let's say I wanted McDonald's. And she is on a diet, okay? <laughs> then I'll go, oh, wow, I would really love some McDonald's. I mean, I know that you're on a diet right now. But you know, with a diet, sometimes, you know, you can give yourself a break. And it's not going to be that bad if you just downgrade, you know, that double cheeseburger to a regular cheeseburger. And maybe just get some water. And then by the time she knew it... <laughs> I was at McDonald's getting her a meal and getting myself a meal and that is how the manipulation began and that is how the manipulation went on into my relationships. Same thing with defensiveness and the same thing with playing mind games. But as you get older, hopefully the person decides to get wiser. So now that you know the negative parts of the uh, patterns, Here's a way of kind of like explaining how to change it or how to tap into uh, fixing these things. So the Page of Cups is all about the inner child. Um, you can think of it like Peter Pan. And it's dealing more so with your subconscious and how you are communicating uh, with yourself or how you're communicating your feelings and your experiences. And a lot of it, like I just tapped into, comes from your childhood. So if there are some issues in your childhood that whether good or bad that you hadn't um, learned from, you need to go back in, maybe journal, sit with yourself and kind of journal because all of this right here is about self-discovery uh, and it is good. So while you're taking the time to do like self-care, which is very good, whenever you see this page of cups in here, it's usually all about self. Okay, all about yourself, all about your subconscious, all about your inner person. Okay, and it's also tapping into your, how do you say it? Some of us tend to be a little too rigid. We're needing to let the kid in us come out and play. Maybe not take life too seriously. Laugh a little. Play a little, be lighthearted, do things that, remember what it was like to be a kid, okay? When you see this card, remember what it was like to be a kid. Remember when you were a teenager, all the things that you thought about was going to concerts and, you know, hanging out with your friends and just, you know, just kind of doing things on a whim. Sometimes, even as an adult, if I'm speaking to uh, some adults here, some people may be younger, but... When we get older, we tend to get more reserved, kind of like, I, I don't want to do this. Uh, I shouldn't do that. No, nope, people are going to be looking at me. Sometimes don't worry about everybody else. Worry about yourself. Self-care. Learn you. Okay, what is it that you enjoy about being single? 
write those things down experience that really get into your creativity and once again it's talking about creativity there are some people here that truly truly need self-care maybe take yourself out okay treat yourself as if you're taking yourself on a date and not just that you really need to learn that it's okay for you to get that love and affection that you're giving everybody else, okay? Because air signs in particular, me being an Aquarius, me being an Aquarius with heavy Libra in my chart, um, tend to be a person that want to put all of that love to other people to the point where I oftentimes forget about myself. But as I've gotten older, I am learning, still learning, <laughs> still learning that it's okay for me to give that to me as well actually even had a conversation about this very recently I had to tell a person that I was like you know I'm gonna give this time to myself and I'm selfish and I like it like this this whole thing wouldn't have been done today this reading and all of this type of stuff wouldn't have been done had I not tapped into that side of me that said it's okay to be selfish because I literally got to a point in my life where everything was about everybody and I wasn't tapping into my hobbies my things that make me happy tarot makes me happy doing my other channel makes me happy uh sitting to myself sometimes self-care just you know just all that makes me happy and now i'm realizing that it's okay it's all right <laughs> it is okay to just enjoy yourself and pamper yourself oh okay that coffee is so good. So let's go ahead and get into the next one. The next one here is <laughs> make sure I'm pulling the right one. Yeah, this is the third one and it is so pretty. But yeah, this third one here is all about the areas that you need to grow. All right. And this is the Queen of Cups. So with this one, with the Queen of Cups, it is all about emotions. OK, it's all about your emotions and becoming more loving and finding the strength within yourself. And once you're able to find a strength within yourself, then you can reach out and maybe seek help from a professional or you can seek help through uh, talking to your friends about what you're going through. And in doing so, it'll make you more of a more warm person, a more kind person, a more sensitive person, because what we hear the most about air signs is that we have a tendency and it is it's true we sometimes have a tendency of being very cold distant aloof and moody okay I'm gonna say that one more time cold distant aloof and moody and what can sometimes go hand in hand with that when it comes to air signs is insecurity feeling unworthy of trust feeling weak not wanting to admit that we're feeling needy and sometimes having an ability to feel shallow. Now, I know that this reading may not be what some people may have been expecting because you weren't expecting me to read not only your positives, but point out some things about you in the reverse. But in order for you to learn, you got to break the wall down, okay? Because nobody's perfect. And if you're looking for this to be a perfect a reading where I'm going to be praising you all left and right, this is not the one for you. But do remember that this is a general reading. But with this reading here, this one is going to tap more into it than a romantic relationship. Because when I'm reading those, sometimes it can just pull in a reading for a specific person or a specific segment of people. But with this one, this is going to channel across all air signs, okay? Because... These are things sometimes you don't want to see, but it's the truth. Okay, so if you want to know about the Queen of Cups and where this sits at in your singles reading, this is the need to grow card. Okay, this is in the section where you need to grow. Okay, so that you can get away from the insecurity, the um, get away from the, the lack of trust and start getting away from like the coldness, the distanceness and um, start understanding that 
nobody is perfect but you have to get a handle on your emotions and it is okay to tap into your emotions it doesn't always have to be about the mind okay you got to let your mind and your heart work together well let's get into the fourth one the fourth one here i love this card because this guy is so handsome and look at him look at him giving us flowers guys this is the knight of cups okay when it comes to like the king and the queen and the page matter of fact i think all of them are in this reading how what that is actually freaking me out. Yes, you got the queen and the king. I don't know. Some of you all, uh, you may end up meeting your soulmate soon. Because this, this is just crazy. Look at how, or you may be able to, the person that you meet, because this is, this is family. So the person that you meet in the near future. Okay, I want some of you all to come back to this video if this happens. Because this is freaking me out. Okay, look at this, guys. Okay, I shuffled that card deck, I think about four times. I usually shuffle it about two times. Okay, you ended up with the queen, the king, the knight, and the page. When this comes up in tarot, <laughs> this is pretty much family, okay? Or this is where you start and where you end up. So when you start out as a page, you can be, um, this is more so the kid in the reading okay this is like the kid in the reading this is the teenager okay and when it comes to cups cups is emotions cups cups is water there's a lot of cups in this reading there's one two three four cups in here and one one so that means there's a lot of water and a lot of fire maybe this is in your chart or maybe these are the type of people that you're going to attract in your future or maybe there's some people that you attract in your in your past that is the reason that brought you here because you're trying to find out what you can move away from and move into. Maybe you need somebody that's more sensitive. Maybe you need somebody that's more assertive. Maybe you need somebody that's more romantic. Maybe you need somebody uh, that is still learning with you. Maybe you need somebody that is more spiritual. Okay. Maybe you need someone that is more level-headed like these two. And maybe you need someone that can help you pull out the inner child within you oh i'm having so much fun with this reading oh my goodness <laughs> so i know there are some people that are going to ask but uh the next reading for the singles uh will be the earth not sure when i'm going to do the water and the fire but yeah if you have any earth in your chart you can check that one out as well so yeah let's go ahead and get into this because i can go for miles all right so yeah, here is the Knight of Cups, and we discussed this, and this is in the fourth spot, and what the fourth spot is, is the need to change, okay? This is one of those things where you need to trust your intuition and follow your heart. Um, once again, it's talking about being more gentle, being more loving, being more warm. So definitely work on those if you're a person that often hears, like I said before, that you can be cold or you can be distant. So um, we know that we can be very deep. A lot of people don't understand we can be just as deep as other signs. But we don't show it to everybody because we don't truly open our heart to everyone. So if you're playing, but if you have to be open in order to let in other people that you're interested in getting to know because if you come in closed off you're going to end up in a situation that you don't want to be in so what this card also signifies okay is that you need to go out you need to meet new people we know that we're in the middle of a situation right now where we our choices and places of going is limited but let's not act like there's places you can't go okay there are coffee shops that are still open uh, there are <laughs> there's grocery stores there's just different places everything doesn't have to be at home guys you don't always have to Netflix and chill you don't always have to order in okay because it's gotten to the point where you know um, most of us are just ordering everything at home but even getting out and just taking a walk in the park is better than always being in front of the television, okay? Yeah. Take some time. Get out. Uh, work on being more charming, more romantic. Um, if you're lacking in uh, being loyal and being supported in a relationship, kind of figure out and try to tap in where these things um can be worked on how they can be changed but let me tell you another thing about this card guys so you know how i showed you all 
how there could be a possibility of you meeting someone that is uh could be like long lasting very soulmate type of vibe that i'm getting because of this lineup of cards another thing that stood out to me is that in this card it could also indicate too that you'll be swept off your feet okay you see this guy here he's ready to sweep somebody off their feet got their horse gonna let you get on that horse with him and y'all gonna ride off into the sunset but <laughs> this also indicates oh, wow hold on communication i can't even communicate to my air signs because i can't talk but yeah this card here also signifies that you have a crush so there are some of you out there that have a crush on somebody. Guess what? You've seen this reading. Now is the time, okay? Now is the time to let them know the truth. Speak your truth. Let them know you're crushing on them, okay? If there is, if you have been wondering in your head, I don't know, should I do it? I don't know. Let me Google my sign. Let me go on YouTube and let me look at the tarot. Should I say something? Say something. Okay, <laughs> say something. It's either going to be yes or no. The person's either going to like you or not. Okay, what's 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 the point of holding it in and not saying something? I don't live with shoulda, coulda, wouldas. Shoulda, coulda, wouldas ain't did nothing for nobody. Okay, nothing. So, here's the negative parts of this particular thing of needing to change. Because we love hard, we have a hard time letting go. We have a hard time letting go of hurt and pain and things in our past that happened in relationships, okay? So, air signs. Listen to me and listen to me good. Journal. I've been mentioning journal a lot, okay? Journal your heartbreak. Journal your unrequited love, okay? That special someone that had been in your heart that it just never felt like it was the right timing or this person never showed you the affection that you wanted so you always feel in the back of your head yeah I can date other people but you know what if that person come around I'm gonna get them listen <clears throat> release the past okay if you've been cheated on or you cheated on other people or you've been deceptive or people around you have been deceptive release the negativity okay forgive yourself Forgive them. Let it go. When you let it go, you're going to become more warm, more gentle, and more loving to your future partner. You want to give your future partner all of you. You don't want to come with a heavy baggage. Do you want to give this guy... <laughs> Do you want to give your future partner... All this baggage and this person is emotionally and physically open to you no don't do it let the past be the past it happened get over it you got more stuff you got more fish to fry now we're gonna get to the last card of the reading and I'm actually gonna do something special at the end I just I feel like something this needs to be done so this last card here is the seven of cups now, with this last card, what it signifies is opening yourself up, like I mentioned earlier, about being able to liberate yourself. This is an area that you need to work on. This is where you can work on giving yourself good advice, being tolerant of yourself, being understanding that, you know, I, I, I can be moody. But I also can be, you know, this happy, loving person. Or, hey, instead of saying, oh, well, this is not good about me. That is not good about me. Instead of doing that, give yourself positive advice. You know, oh, I, I dress really nice. Or I look really good when I, when, I, when I wear this. Or I have a really good, I'm really good at speaking to people. Or, I'm really good at drawing people in. Like, always speak that positivity within yourself. Okay, and most importantly, this card talks about the same thing you've been hearing a lot about in this entire reading. That is spending time alone. And another thing that's important is you need to learn to value yourself. And once again, this card is saying the same thing. This is crazy. If you are not doing this, guys, you need to journal. Maybe record your voice if you don't like writing. Just from time to time, maybe pull the recorder out and say... 
I'm going through this today. Today I'm not feeling so well. Today I'm not feeling so pretty. Today I'm feeling insecure. Today, today I'm feeling unworthy of love. Today I'm feeling needy. Today I'm feeling shallow. Today I'm feeling heartbreak and unrequited love. Write it out. Talk about it. Ball it up. Toss it out. Let this be however long or however long it takes you do that and eventually you're going to start opening yourself up you're going to start realizing that those were the things that held you back and then you're going to start being more open so that you if you're the queen then one day you can end up with your king or if you're the king you can one day end up with your queen but in order to go from a page to a king you're going to have to realize that you need to be a little bit more vulnerable, okay? So stop speaking negative things to yourself. Uh, stop being intolerant or stop being unreliable. Like if, say for instance, you tell someone that, yeah, hey, no problem, I'm gonna meet you at the coffee shop, but then you never show up and you go, oh, I'm sorry, something got, something happened, something got in the way. Or you just look at the text message because, oh, some of us hate text okay or oh, we hate it that we accept that we're gonna go somewhere but we don't go don't be that person okay be a stand-up person if you don't want to go out with someone or if you're not interested in this person tell them you're not interested at the end of the day you're raising your vibrations you're raising yourself to be a better person when you learn to take accountability for your actions and you're not afraid to be uh, uh, vulnerable but yes now, because I swear, I did not intend for this to be that long. Honestly, this is a general reading. I was gonna, I was going to try to keep this thing at least by 10, 10 minutes. And I'm pretty sure this is 20 minute video. But I'm going to go ahead, go back into this uh, writers. <laughs> I was thinking about writers. But I'm going to go back into the uh, Sears card deck and on my card. And it's going to talk about... Um, The type of partner that's going to come to you in the very near future. Yes. The type of partner that's going to come to you in the very near future from this deck. Okay. Hmm. That's crazy. I wasn't expecting to have. I don't know why those, those cards got mixed in with these. But all right. We'll, we'll go with that. Okay, got one more card here. Wow, we got the Ace of Wands. So, remember when I talked about how powerful this card is, the King of Wands, how this man owns and knows exactly who he is? This is when you reach the pinnacle of who you are as a person. Where everything is in alignment. Emotions, communication, uh, abundance, everything is in alignment. Card, this talks about whirlwind relationships. So they said that a whirlwind relationship is headed your way. And although this person uh, will be um, hard to miss, um, let me just let you know that this person may not be your typical type. Maybe you like someone that is like tatted up and, you know, they wear their hair and all these weird colors and everything. This person may be suited up and by the book, you know, with the with the perfect hair and all that type of stuff that you're not necessarily into. Uh, what this card is suggesting that if you run across this person, OK, whether in the near future or, you know, further out, guys, understand that uh, if you're having trouble finding love it is best that you take your chances on someone who is different from who you've normally dated in the past and once again you're being reminded to be open-minded okay and they're saying being open-minded could lead to a love that is more fulfilling than any of your relationships in the past wow wow okay <laughs> wow so what you've been looking for all along may not actually be in the box okay in the pretty little wrap bow box that you thought it was gonna be hmm and you know something I got a feeling that some of you know who this person is already 
you know that type of person that's been there all alone but you didn't see them because you were busy trying to see everybody else because you felt like well that's not my type oh my god he or she is such a nerd but they could be the best thing that ever happened to you so guys open your minds work on yourselves okay and definitely go over these five things that can be helping you in something in your life that is hindering you from finding the perfect partner for you if you guys like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't leave a comment down below if this resonated with you and yeah don't forget if you have an earth sign in your chart that one will be posted up shortly so you guys can take a look at it for those who may have uh, dominant uh, earth signs of Virgo Capricorn and I always forget the other one what is it uh, Virgo I'm so sorry Virgo but yeah if you have those in your chart definitely look out for those because that could also help you out a little bit more in your journey thank you for watching guys bye